There wasn't an enormous amount that you could really change with the pilot's uniform because there are so many historical codes involved. They're proud of the history, they're proud of where it comes from. And one of the places that it comes from is actually from the naval military. And that was one of the starting points for me in taking it back and reintroducing the white top hat. I'm very proud of what my grandfather did. He started in 1928 in the small single-engine two-seater planes. Yeah, he flew everything from 1928 through to 1950, very involved in the early years of Qantas. My aunt kept some of the old epaulettes that my grandfather's uniform had on, so when I put the uniform on this morning, it just brought back memories for me. I've refined the whole silhouette of it, so I've made the trouser cut much finer, the fitted jacket, and otherwise it was really a question of just refining all of the details. So we're talking sometimes just in millimetres, where it's the gold braid on the sleeves, on the hat for example. I've brought back more Qantas elements to it, so we've got on the hat, the badge has the iconic Qantas kangaroo. Without the uniform, we're, you know, we're mums and dads doing the school pickups, drop-offs, but as soon as we put the uniform on, we're part of the Qantas team, and we've got a new uniform, we're ready for a new phase, but in doing so, it's also remembering where we came from.